Hi, my name is David Cuthbertson from Square Mail Systems, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how our AssetGen network connector works, which saves a lot of time diagramming networks and allows you to control the presentation of port names and uh, data labels. It also allows you to link spreadsheets and databases to the connectors to make it easy to create and refresh uh, your network diagrams. Here we have a typical starting point where you represent uh, connectivity by having symbols or shapes and you connect them together. And the Visio network connector is very useful because as we move the symbols around, the connector stays linked. But as you can see, configuration information like uh, port names, IP addresses, and other labels don't move with it. You have to create text boxes and you have to reposition them every time you move this around. Particularly because of this and the need to control and manage lots of diagrams and automate the process, we developed our network connectors. Uh, there are four of them. And to bring them into context, if I just zoom out and show, we've created uh, four. The data connector, as you can see, the first one, the data connector with tooltip. And to show you what the differences are, I'll go through uh, a couple of them, and then we'll explore a little bit more further. So to use these, we don't need to use uh, standard connectors or text, because what we do is we embed data into the shapes and this can be refreshed from spreadsheets so that if there are changes, they'll actually reflect themselves in the diagrams. So a lot of this is about automation and speed and things. What you can see there is the data connector has information about the devices, the ports, cable identifiers, VLANs, and you can also put additional information in there. But for ease and speed, what we've done is we created a little bit of intelligence. So the first thing that you see there is there are little yellow dots that allow you to position the text labels and if we were to take this connector and use this to link these two together, as you can see like that, the text has moved with them. And by selecting the shape, we can then just position and move the text along. Uh, you'll also see there's a little yellow dot in the middle. If you right click on the connector, you get various options. This will hide all the port labels on the diagram that use our connectors. So it declutters the diagram, so you can always bring them in individually or bring them in all, as you can see. If we do a right click again, you can also change the label or you can change all the labels and say, I want to know what the IP addresses are on there. And yet again, you can do that for other things. What's the cable ID if we're tracing cables? Uh, and we can then have no label at all. And as we move things around, you can then see it's easy then just to reposition for readability depending on the, the nature of the diagram and what you're trying to do. The tooltip version of this, if you hover over it, it shows you what the endpoints are. So it's switch from ports. The align data connector is really useful where you have very dense environments. And as you move and change the orientation, it will actually change and move the orientation of not just the port names, but also if we bring out uh, the labels such as IP addresses, um, it will bring them out and align them as well particularly useful in dense environments. So let's show you how we use the connector and how you can use it. I'm going to start with a number of symbols on a page and I'm going to bring in a spreadsheet and there's various techniques to do this. If you're not familiar with linking Visio to spreadsheet, it's a standard feature in Microsoft Plan 2 or any of the professional versions of Visio. So I have a spreadsheet here where I have connections and IDs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly connect and put all these together uh, and then show you uh, also how some of our other utilities help. I'm going to use the data connector tooltip for this and you'll see the reason why we developed this. So I'm going to select and bring in all the connectors in one go. That's all the connectors, so I don't need the spreadsheet anymore, but I could always refresh if there were changes. And if I hover over all the connectors that just dot on top of each other, the first one goes between firewall B and the switch. So I can uh, just link and do this. So uh, this is the, the manual approach, this one here, as we can see. Uh, the tooltip will then show us that that goes to firewall A. So let's take and link that to firewall A as we go on. So I just didn't quite connect that. And we just proceed and we go through each of these. Let's server E. And so the tooltip makes it really useful so just make sure you're connecting the right things together. If you use our AssetGen database system, all this will be done for you. But uh, here, as we look, we'll see that uh, uh, with the tooltip for this, the server D has actually got two network connections. 
and uh, for speed I know that uh, uh, server C also has two and the same with B and so I'm linking um, but I haven't had to type anything and uh, you'll see how this all then speeds up and you see how Visio will lay connectors on top of each other and that's why it's useful just to hold the tooltip over and then say that's another server B there but that's why we developed our acidgen system to do this a lot of this for you but you can do this uh, when you're doing designs and layouts and so uh, we've now transferred all the data and all the connectors there if you select everything the Visio utility that you get with our utilities, the layout connections, will look for connections and then will equally space them all across and use an orientation. And having done all of that, I can now do a right click here, uh, declutter. So let's hide all the port labels, or I can bring them all back in again if I want. And I can also then bring in other things. Maybe uh, I want to see uh, labels. Let's have all the IP addresses, things. So very simple, very quick didn't do any typing and I can refresh the spreadsheet. If we move to a slightly more complex environment, so here we have uh, something a little bit more complex. I've used the standard data connector for doing all of this. So if I do a right click, I can now show all the port labels and we can see there are certain areas where it doesn't really quite work because of the density. And you can always select a number of the connectors that are on here, such as these ones between there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change those to be the auto align version. And the way you do that is you just do a right click, do change shape, and uh, that will then come up and say that's the auto align connector. So now it's uh, still kept the same data, but now I can position things and make it a little bit easier to read each particular one like that. And so uh, that just gives you an idea of why we've done it because it allows a lot of density. And it's up to you to choose the connectors that you want uh, that may be appropriate for the, for the particular role. Um, and the same, I could do the same here on this one here. Uh, if I choose those connectors, uh, do right click to change shape, choose the auto align. And as you can see there, it's making it a lot easier to, to, to read these uh, as, as we do this. Yeah. In fact, uh, that one there is just positioned itself over that, and that one has positioned itself just there. And of course, you can always bring in labels as needed on an individual basis. So, just for this one, could we actually see the cable ID that's on there? Just make it easy for yourself. Um, so, I hope that sort of gives you an idea. As a slight step further, if you want to then see uh, what else you could do with the net connectors, here's uh, something where we've uh, made the diagram a little bit easier to understand. And if I do a right click and I show all the ports, you can see a mixture of aligned connectors and straight connectors uh, where it makes sense. We can also make use of the data graphics feature that you have within Visio, which allows you to bring out data on the actual um, switches and routers and other things. So maybe I want to show that, or maybe uh, a slightly different styling, or maybe I want to use an icon to show which ones have been patched to overcome any known vulnerabilities. So you can see differences in status. So I hope that's given an idea of how the network connector can be used to underpin and make it easier and quicker to create and maintain lots of different network diagrams. So I hope you find it very useful for yourself. Uh, any issues or problems, please get in contact with us. Thank you.